it's time for a week on again. And I'm not looking forward to this one. This is the one week on that everyone has been bugging me about. The one that all the commenters have been saying, do a week on on this. Do a week on on this. So I'm going to do a week on on this. Yes, dump dinners. As you can see, I have uh, marked out some nice <clears throat> recipes and I'm going to spend the next seven evenings having nothing but dump dinners. I cannot wait. If they are all as nice as that one, we're in for a treat. Mm, they're not going to be spoilers. So, I'm going to go by my daily routine. I'm going to have my usual sandwich or pasta little thingy for lunch and come home and cook a whatever that is but uh, suffice to say that's what it'll probably taste like I'm not talking about quick and easy yes everybody's favorite evil witch Kathy Mitchell and her dump dinners book so yes I'm going to spend one week exactly eating uh, my evening meal as nothing but a dump dinner Grace is going to join me in this one she's going to hate it isn't she Yes, because I do already. So, I guess it's uh, time to do the first thing I always do on these week ons, and that's jump on the weighing scales. It's not really a diet, um, at least I hope not, bloody hell. Um, but I want to see if um, my weight fluctuates in any kind of way by eating nothing but dumps. So, uh, yay, let's do that. Here we go. My favourite part of the week. Mm. 200 and... Oh my god, stop moving. 204.4. Okay, we'll have that. Please stop moving. <laughs> so 204.4. Um, we'll see in a week after I've had plenty of dumps and hopefully more of a different kind of dump. We'll see, uh, see how I'm faring up. Well, I am here after a full day of working hard. And it's time to cook some dinner. Can you tell I'm not very excited? What's first on the menu this week? The easiest meatloaf ever. Wow. We need uh, meat, water, egg and stuffing mix. And uh, yeah, it's going to have it with vegetables and potatoes because I'm not just going to eat that. It doesn't count as a dump dinner, although apparently it does because, after all, it's in dump dinners. But um, it's just a meatloaf. The oven is warming up. I'm not going to break it. And uh, we have our ingredients here. I've kind of halved everything. Um, it wants incredible huge amounts, but uh, we're not feeding six or eight people. There's just two of us, so yeah, we've had halved everything. Say hello, my uh, beautiful helper. There she is. So we will now um, do what the instructions say. So yeah, kind of just shove the meat in there, I suppose. And you do it with such uh, grace. <laughs> grace by name, but not by nature, eh? Indeed. Yeah. And just break it up. Yeah, smush it all up. In the meantime, I will add the egg to the. I'm going to do this one handed. That's going to go really wrong. <laughs> Ew. Well, I guess we're just having that part of the egg. And there we go. There's a shell in there. You've got to get that out oh, now. No, there is a. There is, I no, can see it. That's lies. There we go with that. Yeah, it's done. Is it smushed? So yeah. now we, according to this, we add stuffing mix and egg water to pan. I mean, it keeps saying the word pan. I don't think the word pan means what it says it means. And we blend it together with hands or, or a large fork or spatula. As my granddaughter says, smush it together. She must be adorable. So let's uh, let's just shove it all in. Does that not have to be mixed? Yeah. Do you want to mix it? Yeah. Oh, we're underprepared. Well, you just don't follow the instructions. Right, here we go. Chuck it in. This is gross. I don't want to eat this. Come on, it looks cooked. And then, then we don't have to eat it. Yes, and all then... of it. I don't know. It just says a box. Well, let's try adding that, and then we'll see how we get on. Yes. You're not going to smush it with your hands. No. Just like Kathy's granddaughter does. I think we need more stuff in. Throw in more then. Yeah, all of it, why not? I like stuff in. Oh my god, this is like... Can you 
imagine if we'd have used like two or three times the amount here? This would have been the biggest meatloaf in the world. Yeah. Mmm, there we go. There's meatloaf. The easiest meatloaf ever, apparently. Um, this is kind of the closest thing we have to a loaf tin, so this is going to be interesting. Plop. Yeah. It's not going to be so much of a meatloaf as more of a meat cake. Oh. Yuck. So, um, I can't wait for a slice of this bad boy. <laughs> So I push it down, do you think? Yeah. Essentially what we're making is a giant beef burger. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The easiest giant beef burger ever. But no cheese. Unfortunately. The best bit. Okay, so in she goes. For 45 minutes. So let's get the veg ready and have ourselves a giant burger. I have to say... It actually smells really good. It's been in for about 40 minutes, so it's due out almost uh, any second, I would guess. But it smells really good. I'm looking forward to this, I have to say. Kathy, you, uh, you may be redeeming yourself. However, this is not a complete meal. The concept lies. Nothing's going to change that. Potatoes are on. Get this bad boy out of the oven. Heat. Funny that, that heat's coming out. It smells really good. What do you think? Yeah, it does smell nice. Where are you putting it? I'm putting it there. There we go, there's our giant beef burger. It looks like a meatloaf. It smells pretty good. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to carving this like a cake and uh, serving it with some veg. Lovely. Oh, Kathy, what have we got here? We have um, meatloaf pie. <laughs> but apparently it's the easiest meatloaf ever. I'm not so sure. Tastes like me, love. It's okay. Very, very dry. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have a lot of gravy with this one. <coughs> Tastes okay, I guess. I guess. Well, that was day one, and it was kind of a success. What do you think, Wickis? He ate yesterday as well, and um, he's very full at the moment. Aren't you, Wickis? He's ignoring me now because he's very full. Although this one, you ate yesterday as well, you little sod. Anyway, on to our uh, cheeseburger pizza, beef burger pizza. I can't even, whatever. It was surprisingly nice. Grace didn't really like it, but then again, she um, she's not really a fan of old Kathy. Is she, Wickis? However, I was pleasantly surprised. I absolutely um, doused it in gravy, and, um, and I enjoyed it. Um, things have started well. What are you doing, Coda? You are, you are not still hungry. What's that, Coda? You you want people to to back my book on Unbound: Confessions of a YouTube Superstar? Is that yes? And also, Wickis wants that now too, don't you, Wickis? Yes, anyway, on to day two. Goodbye.